to transistors. Very common term to have been heard out there. Well, it's pretty much easy to identify a transistor. I mean, you just have to look at the component on your board has three legs. Well, it might not always be a transistor, but in most cases it will be a transistor, especially if it's DHT, three, three pins, no, not more. Well, and the best way to look at a transistor is just think of it as a switch, but now not a mechanical switch, but an electrical switch. And this switch has to be fired or like have to be triggered on and off through an application of an electric current. In order, so in order to, to attain the different states, just like a switch, you just have to apply a current now rather than the manual switching. So anytime you see a transistor, just see a switch. When you hear a transistor, it's just a switch and it's very easy to use it. We'll be diving deeper later on how to use it and where they are used in most of the circuits. Transistors, very important element because it's actually one of the fundamental building blocks in electrical systems, say like amplifiers, found in like everyone has a woofer in their room. It has, it does has some, it does have some transistors, say in form of amplifiers. So most of voltage regulators and some ICs, and of course, most ICs do have transistors in them. We do have two types of transistors, FETs and BJTs, the field effect transistors and bipolar junction transistors. Well, transistors do find a lot of applications, especially in as switching devices. So, and of course, again, like I mentioned previously, they are used in most of ICs, like to, to build an IC, say an IC for voltage regulation, it has, it computes of a lot of resistors. Some few pointers here, and actually one of the most useful one for starters that it's reference designator on a PCB is Q. You always find it as a Q. I've indicated here. Well, I've shown it practically, like I've used it in one of my designs here. And this is an SMT transistor here, Q2, as you can see. It's used actually here now to switch these relays now on or off. This is a practical application of it being used as a switch. But again, we have to trigger it through electrical current that again is going to come up from, from my MCUs here. Yeah, and transistors are very useful as electrical switches. Well, and its symbol is Q on a PCB. If you see Q, that's a transistor. 